Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, it's back to school time and I've been getting a lot of requests for laptop cases. Now, remember, everybody's laptop is different. So what I'm gonna be showing you today is a case that'll fit for my laptop and you can adjust the sizes for your laptop as well. For this, we are going to be using, of course, duct tape. And if you end up wanting to cut out your logo that lights up, you might want some clear tape. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that later on. Um, you're gonna want a little bit of sticky back Velcro. You're gonna need your scissors. In this case, I'm going to be using my X-Acto knife. So make sure you have one of those. And if you do, you're gonna make sure you have a cutting board area to work on. I'm gonna be using two rulers today. I know that seems strange, but you'll understand why when you see. And I've also got my Sharpie marker and I've also got my dry erase marker. Now, if you're gonna end up using that Sharpie marker, you're gonna want some rubbing alcohol because that will clean the marks from your duct tape. Something new I've learned. Okay, I've also made myself a strap and this strap is 24 inches long and it's about three quarters to an inch wide. So I've made myself a strap ahead of time and I've also made my duct tape fabric ahead of time. Now, the way you know how much fabric you're gonna need, let me just move all this stuff to the side so you can see, is by measuring your device. Now remember, everybody's device is different. And in this case, the best way to measure is to lay it right along the one inch mark here in the corner. So here's my one inch mark, and I'm just gonna go up and over with my device. So I went up and over and flipped it onto its, its front and it comes to 19 inches. I'm gonna give myself just a little extra just in case I've made a mistake. So I'm gonna make it 20 inches. And when I look this way, it comes to 13. So I'm gonna give myself an extra inch. I always feel like it's a good thing to give yourself a little tiny bit of extra fabric whenever you're making anything. So I'm gonna be making myself a piece that is 20 inches by 14 inches. All right, so as I said, I've already got my piece done here. So I'm gonna bring this out. And I'm gonna be using the orange side on the inside and the purple side on the outside. So I'm gonna lay this here. And what I do with my laptop is just line it up on the end here. And see how it's lined up right along that edge. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using my either dry erase marker or my Sharpie marker, whichever one I wanna use. Again, I like Sharpies just because they're gonna make a nice clean line that'll stay while I'm cutting. But if you wanna use the dry erase marker, you can. It works just as well. And I'm gonna use the dry erase marker and I'm just gonna draw right along the edge of my laptop here. The nice thing about the dry erase is too that if I get any on my laptop, it'll come right off. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just flip my computer up and over. And I'm just gonna continue the line here, continue the line here, and I'm gonna continue the line here. Now with my ruler, I'm gonna remove my computer, and with my ruler, I can join any of these broken lines. So that I've got a nice strong line here, bring it down to here, here, connect. So any place that there's a non-connection, I'm gonna connect it with my ruler. Okay, I've already got mine cut, so I'm gonna jump, jump ahead here. So you would cut to size, and now again, I'm gonna have my orange on the inside and my purple on the outside. First thing I'm gonna do is open up my case, and I'm gonna do the top corners first. So I'm gonna lay this right at the edge, and I'm gonna use the tape to hold this up so this doesn't weigh heavy on itself. There we go. Okay, what I wanna do is create a corner here and here, but I don't wanna go into my screen area. So what I'm gonna do is take my ruler. This is why we have two rulers. I'm gonna take my ruler, and I'm just gonna lay it right here in the corner where I want my corner to be. So this is how big I want my corner to be. Now I'm gonna take my second ruler 
and I'm just going to measure. And I get an inch and a half. So what I'm going to do is make myself an inch and a half square of duct tape. Now I'm going to be using green for this because I want to use a second accent color other than my orange and other than my purple. So actually it's a third accent color. And in this case, I'm going to measure out a little bit more. Again, like I said, I always go a little bit more. So I've got four inches. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to use my X-Acto knife here. And I'm going to measure to four inches and give that a little cut. Now I'm going to make the tiniest piece of duct tape fabric. Well, maybe not the tiniest piece, but what I'm basically making is a tiny piece of duct tape fabric. To do that, I'm just going to fold this over on top of itself. So see, I just take it from this end and fold it right on top, trying to line up those edges the best I can, trying not to get any air bubbles. And I just seal it off. So I end up with a little square. Now this is a two inch square, well slightly less because duct tape isn't actually technically two inches. It's like one and seven eighths inches wide. But I'm going to measure one and a half inches over and I'm going to cut and one and a half inches over and cut so that I end up with a one and a half inch square of duct tape. There we go. Now, I want to take this square and I literally want to cut it in half so that I end up with two triangles. So I'm just going to line it up there on my cutting edge and two triangles. Now, these triangles are going to go in the corner of my fabric right in here. And what I want to do is I want them to be tight up against the corner and locked into place with a piece of tape. So what I'm going to do is take some tape that matches the back color, which in this case is purple, because I'm going to be taping onto the back. So I'm just going to take a piece that's about four inches long here. And what I want to do is I want to cut it so that it's right at the edge of my triangle. So I'm going to place my edge of my triangle right there and right there. And at that tip of the triangle is where I'm going to cut. So it's slightly more than an inch. Okay, peel that. Now because this is going to end up being on the back side and being nice and pretty, I'm just going to even out those edges and make them pretty. Now what you're going to do is take your tape, place it sticky side up. Take that triangle and place it right along the edge there so that you end up with your triangle on the back of your tape. Place this in the corner right there in that edge and wrap those edges over. So you see that just goes there and that goes there and it creates a little triangle. See that little triangle? Now I've already got this other piece done and ready to go, so I'm just going to snip right on over here and lay that down. And again, folding this over onto the back side, just like that. Now if you want to, you can come back and add some extra tape here, but you know, that's where if you're going to end up embellishing, you can come back and embellish over top of that anyway. All right, now, just to show you how this works, my computer opens up and these slip in like a that. One there and one there, like a little hat. Now we just have to do the bottom. Now for the bottom, I've got a much larger space here. And so what I'm going to be doing is actually making a strap. And for this strap, I'm going to use my green tape again. And I'm going to lay out a piece that is about 12 inches long. In this case, I can rip it. Now, I want this strap to be strong. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take two pieces and lock it in. So I'm going to take this one piece, turn it over. This is super sticky tape. I'm going to take my second piece here, 
And now I could, if I wanted to, wow, it's really sticky. I could, if I wanted to, lay it directly on top. That's completely doable. And as you get better and better and better with your tape, you can do that. However, I'm going to show you a no holds bar fail safe way of doing this. Stay. My goodness, you're sticky. This is a super sticky day. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let go. All right. Hold on, everybody. See? Even I end up with sti super sticky situations. All right. Stay. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take this second piece, finally, whew, and I'm going to lay it halfway between the side edges, just like that. And then I'm going to take my third piece and lay it over top. This way I'm making a very sturdy, strong strap. When I go and pick this up, fold these edges over. There's no sticky edges anywhere, which is what I want for my computer. I don't want any sticky edges. So see, by doing that, I've sealed it down, sealed it nice and smooth, and I've got a really strong, sturdy strap. I'm just going to trim this edge and trim this edge. Okay. Now, all we have to do is place this strap in the corner like this. We're going to be taping it on the back. So I'm just going to place it here, and I've already got my other strap made. I'm going to place it here. And then you close your computer and flip it over. Now, the most important thing here is to make sure that you pull this nice and tight. So, I'm going to take my tape, I'm going to cut it and have it ready here. Now, a lot of you know that I am a ripper when it comes to tape, but I found that by cutting the edges, it makes it nice and smooth. I don't have to come back so much and over embellish. Okay, so I've got that one down. There, let's snip this end. And there we go. And then I want to make sure that I'm pulling nice and tight and wrapping that around. There we go. Nice and tight and wrapping it around. And it needs one more piece right here. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And make sure you pull it tight, nice and tight. Make sure there's no bubbles there. Make sure it's nice and tight. Lock it into place here. Now, again, don't worry about the back being too even and pretty right now because you can come back and give it a second coat of tape that's nice and smooth. Make that all good and clean. Okay, now you can open it up and it's going to stay together.